Yo, over the past two weeks, I've gone from zero followers to 6,000 followers on TikTok while gaining 2 million views, over 250,000 likes. And I'm going to show you exactly how I've been doing it. I've been making this new trend of hood trap beats. I've been getting an acapella. I've been putting it on the beat and uploading it onto TikTok. It genuinely couldn't be any easier right now. And in this video, I'm going to show the entire process from making the beat all the way to uploading it to TikTok. Before, as a producer to make content, you used to always have to show your face. Being doing tutorials on producer content on YouTube or live streams on Twitch. But now on TikTok, you can make producer producer content with just your beats and you can get hella views doing it if you're a producer and you're not doing anything with tiktok honestly there's no real excuses i literally made this page two weeks ago i had zero followers zero everything it was a fresh account it's now nearly at 6,000 followers like i said over 2 million views over 300k likes from just beats so today we're gonna make a beat we're then gonna find an acapella to put on the beat we're gonna find a music video to put on the beat i'm gonna show you how i edit it some editing tips and then uploading the tiktok in terms of what hashtags what time things of that nature people might also be wondering does viralness of tiktok kind of correlate to your other socials and stuff and i can truthfully say that it does if you have your instagram linked on your tiktok i've got a lot of traffic come from this tiktok page to my instagram page whether that's follows whether that's artists that see these beats and then come to my TikTok and ask me to send them beats or whether it's just people that are genuinely fans of music because right now on this TikTok page that I have it's not just for producers I mean we got another repost from AJ Tracy rappers see these things on TikTok as well that's something to bear in mind like I said I'm making hood trap beats as you can tell from my YouTube channel lately or my TikTok all I'm making at the minute is hood trap because it is popping off everywhere and yeah today we're actually going to start off by using a loop from one of my good friends Harry Beach probably the best person I've ever seen make melodies in my entire life Right, now you might be hearing this and thinking this is not sounding like a hood trap melody but listen that's the beauty of hood trap you can kind of do hood trap drums on whatever you want by the name the loop it's called carson so i do believe this was probably made for ken carson what i like to do with hood trap beats and if i'm using like people's loops and stuff i like repetitive melodies i think i kind of want to just chop up the start of this so i think we're gonna go like that to maybe be there 16 bars just this part then coming to this for an eight again just chopped nice and repetitive and then we have this section i do have this new hood trap drum kit coming very very soon kind of in the final stages you're gonna see some more sounds from it today if you're watching this video a few weeks late then the drum kit should probably be linked in the description or in the comments um I'm pretty proud of this drum kit. This is sounding pretty nice and unique, especially if you're trying to get into hood trap. It's got all the essential sounds that you need for it. And yeah. <clears throat> now we are gonna start off pretty easy like this. And I fill in some of the spaces now. That's just on like the which if repeat that on the ones. Ooh. Those last two little hits on the end of the four is nice. I feel like this beat can use some little bit of a bongo action kind of going on. Tom is nice. This little like uh, Vox thing that we're gonna try on at the start. Yeah. Well, kind of like that. If we try and make this a little bit shorter, like there. Ooh, I like that. Well, I'm pretty happy with the bounce right now, so I think it's time to put in the 808. Now, the 808 is a little bit too low, so we're going to pitch this up too 
200 cents. We are using the Tump 808. This is a new kind of go-to one that I'm using. So we are going to copy the snare pattern, put it into the Tump. Press Control and L, pitch it down to B. Might even pull them back slightly. Now, first off, I want to put this up maybe like three. Now, when we get to this section here, kind of want to use a different 808. We're going to put it into this one. I'm going to mute the tongue for a second. Some people are definitely in the comments right now being like, oh my God, your 808 is clipping. Look at the red line. Lower. And to be honest, that's about it. We just need to sort of arrange this beat out nicely. When we introduce this new 808, I have added in these kind of fast hats. That kind of makes it sound a lot nicer. Next, we need to find an acapella. Some people probably think about how do you know what acapella to use, blah, blah, blah. Personally, for me, I go through my own Spotify and look for songs that I kind of like or look for artists that I like. You can go the other approach, which is probably the better approach, and you should go for very famous songs, especially that has a hook that everyone knows, and instantly, once people hear that, they're gonna wanna listen to, like, the rest of it. Or, I like to take a verse that's on, like, a song that I'm not, like, the biggest fan of, or that I feel like the verse could have suited a different type of beat. Today, we're actually taking the acapella from... Diggity Mexico on the M1 tape. Now, the beat's good, but I feel like this hook just could have been used differently or something. Four, gone man, four, five, gone man, three, two, gone man, three, eight, gone man, nine, eight, gone man. You find your acapella. Come to a website called Y2 Mate, and all you have to do is literally paste it in here. You can take the audio, boom, download. And I literally just click on it, extract stems from sample. Now, this obviously only works in the latest version of FL. If you don't have the latest version of FL, I would use a website called Moises.ai. I used to use that before FL actually implemented this into their DOS. Just like that, you have the stems of the beat. What's that, yeah, to say if I know you're not too far. Yo, now, the best way to line up, uh, like, the vocals and stuff and get the BPM is... I literally just kind of line them up with the drums. You want to line them up with the drums. Four, four, gun man, four, five, gun man, three, two, gun man, three, eight, gun man. And then what I do is I just drag the BPM down until I can kind of line up. I can kind of do drums off of eye. So I know that the snare should hit. I'm pointing on it. But I know that the snare should hit here. So that means that the BPM is now 142. And all I want to do then is come in here, click fit the tempo, type in BPM, 142. You kind of want to then arrange your beat around the acapella. So if you listen to this voice here, Bun, man. Oh, shit. It's six. Check the news real quick. My... I feel like there should be just cutting the drums there because he says, oh, shit. Bun, man. Oh, shit. It's six. Check the news. I feel like there should be just like a, a pause. My knife was sick. Okay, so I don't think that this verse suits here. So I'm going to cut this here and I'm going to find a different part in the song that I think suits this part. My knife was sick, but I just landed in Mexico. Tell me who's next to go. Creep up a pinch or so. Pitch by a festival. Have his back quickly and find that vegetable. Gone man, 4 4, gone man, 4 5, gone man, 3 2, gone man, 3 8, gone man. One thing actually that I didn't mention that I like to throw on my vocals is if you have Fab Filter Pro MB. I like to throw, come on to vocals. I like to put on the DS and enhance. And also when you're extracting stems from vocals, like that, because as you can see, this here is probably from like the drums in the background. So I like to kind of cut that out. Not too much now, just a little bit. Here's some real sauce. This is a new toy that I've just found. Now this is a plugin called Clear. Basically this can get rid of like background noise and stuff. So look, this is the voice. I can turn the voice off. And then it'll just leave the background. So if I turn the ambience off, and the voice up. Gun man, GP, gun man, G lock, gun. It's getting rid of all of gun man, GP, gun man, this. Gun man, HK, gun man, error, gun man, H. But yeah, I'm pretty happy with how this beat is sounding. I'm going to export it. Now, I would export as Wave if you're posting to TikTok and you're posting to SoundCloud and things like that. Post to Wave, get the best quality that you can. Now, one thing that I didn't really touch on here is that sometimes this can this process can take a long time sometimes i sw swap out maybe like 10 acapellas on one beat sometimes i start changing the loop and also another big factor is making sure that your beat and the vocals are in somewhat of the same key so if i just drag in these diggity vocals 
Shush. and put them into Rattle Sampler. This is an E minor. And I believe we are in B minor. Now, B and E are kind of like similar-ish kind of keys because they're in like a fifth. I don't actually know the whole musical term. All right, mess, make sure that your vocals are sitting in the right kind of key of your beat also. Once you export the beat, play it on your phone because everyone's going to be listening to it on TikTok. It might sound sick on these headphones, but if everything sounds trash through your phone, you need to adjust all the mixes. Adding less distortion on your 808, adding more distortion on your 808, turning down your 808s, maybe turning up the snares. I mean, sometimes I export a beat like 10 times, just leveling things differently, just so it sounds a little bit nicer on your phone. Oh, after this, let's make the video. So I'm gonna come into DaVinci Resolve. This is the editing program that I use for everything. And these are the settings that I use. Uh, make sure if you're making it for TikTok, you need to make sure that it's in 1080 by 1920. Because there's no official video, for the Diggity Mexico thing. We're gonna drag in Diggity STFU because I think the video for this is actually insane. We need to come to retime and scaling and scale it so that it fills the project. So just click fill and boom, it'll come up like this. Video is gonna be in a different BPM to our beat. The BPM for that video is 143 and our new BPM is 150. So you wanna put 150 divided by 143 comes up with 104 make that 105 so then we can come in to speed change and we can just put this speed change to 105 lastly i like to turn it black and white so i just come into the color correction here and i just turn saturation down to zero so now i just seen some stuff here of like kind of him throwing up gun stuff and i feel like that kind of fits the intro of the beat <laughs> So basically, you just kind of want to chop and change this music video to fit uh, your beat. After that, you get your full beat, and now it's ready to go to TikTok. What I do is I just upload this straight to Google Drive. Down on Google Drive, you can get it through to your phone. I mean, I'm going to pull up my second channel here. As you can see, the first video I posted on 12k views, but I think the first video that I posted, like when I posted this video, I think it sat around 1k views, which is still good. It's getting over 200. And then on my third, this is when I got my first kind of viral video. This one went straight to like 100k. After three videos, it went straight to 100k. And that's when I literally had maybe 100 followers or something. And one thing then that I had noticed was that this video was over a minute long, whereas the two that I previously posted were under a minute. And then I started looking it up and apparently TikTok posts, or apparently TikTok pushes your videos more if they're over a minute long in content. And obviously it's down to watch time, engagement time, all of that also. And I'll get to the engagement part in a minute. But oh, you want to be able to make sure that people are constantly watching. It's something that I've just picked up on now. People watch this one more because Heady and Dig that were in it. So it was constantly changing between two artists and people weren't just getting bored of the same artist. But if we actually look, this is something that I literally just realized today. If we look at all my videos that I've done well, it's because there's two artists in it. So obviously people's attention span is more if they keep changing out and it's not just the same person and they click off. So on this one is Heady and Dig That. This is a 150k views. The next one that did well was the OFB one. That's three artists. Then the one after that is Dave and AJ Tracy. That's two artists. The next one that did well was the Diggity and LD one. That's two artists once again. Then my now, my now biggest TikTok that I posted three days ago is on 700k views. And it's about SJ and MD. Something that you want to try get is comments. You want people to comment on your TikTok because that is engagement and you want engagement. More engagement, more views. Now, for hashtags, I like to use maybe five hashtags. I think if you use any more than five, six might be okay, but no more than six. A good, solid five or six that are extremely relevant to your video and run with them. Like, I have used the exact same hashtags in every single video here. And yeah, you just kind of need to clock onto the trend. So, like, that trend that I'm just after clocking now is having a couple of artists in one video. I post on this every single day because it is just a beat and it's not very difficult to post a beat with an acapella every single day. If you go onto your TikTok, you can see what time your audience are actually most active at. And for me, it says around 8 p.m. is when everyone's most active. So that's when I'm going to post. And yeah, listen, we're two weeks in. I've gained 6K followers. Again, nearly 2 million views or over 2 million views. I'm not sure exactly how much. A couple of people asked me to kind of do more of an in-depth video of how I actually do all this stuff. So it's not really that complicated, but I hope that this video has, one, inspired you to start doing this yourself. And two, I hope it's maybe given you more of an insight of how to actually do it or maybe a couple of tricks along the way. My Hood Trap drum kit will be coming very, very soon. Make sure you're subscribed to this channel so you don't miss out on more uploads. And yeah, run me up on all socials, man. TikTok, Twitch. I'm streaming 9.30 a.m. in London time zone every single day on Twitch. I'm cooking up beats. I appreciate you for watching man make sure you smash the like on this video because i'm sick and i feel like 
Run me up on Instagram, Twitch, and TikTok because they're doing three things care about. I'm out. Good luck, Slayer. Bow.